to have to recreate Comiskey Park, however, it still stands today much as it stood back in 1917, although following this season it will stand no more. So today may have been the last chance to savor the way it really was in the good old days, and Andrea Kramer just couldn't stay away. Welcome to Comiskey Park. This afternoon's game features the Milwaukee Brewers and your Chicago White Sox. Another step on the Comiskey Park farewell tour was Turn Back the Clock Day, a chance to see and feel what it was like to experience baseball in 1917, the year the White Sox happened to have won their last world championship. The celebration included five cent popcorn, general admission seats for 50 cents, and a specially constructed manual scoreboard in center field. But the highlight was definitely those 1917 replica uniforms, Major League Baseball approved, of course. Well, I think if we weren't playing so well, a lot of people would look at it as a big joke, but since we're playing good baseball, Ozzy was saying that a lot of the guys at the All-Star game last night were talking about it and saying, hey, you guys get to wear those old uniforms, and a lot of guys were pretty pumped up about it. So it's a, it's a big event, and it's kind of a nice thing to have happen to us. They tried to make these uniforms as comfortable as possible, and we really like the uniforms. We think they look good, and uh, they feel good, so we were kind of hoping we'd get to wear these for the rest of the year, but I guess they're not going to go for it. I like them, frankly. I like the design. They look better on the guys with the good bodies than some of the coaches I see them in. <laughs> who, why? Who doesn't look too good? I have no comment. <laughs> While Parker couldn't admit who looked the best or worst, there was a costume parade for the fans which decided the matter and was good for a couple of free tickets. This day was a marketing marvel for the team and captured a slice of history for the fans and players alike. We're trying to achieve an effect, but we didn't want to do anything that would get in the way of the game. So we made the uniforms less baggy than those old days and made it out of today's current cloth. And we put a scoreboard up that, that isn't probably the world's greatest scoreboard, but it achieves the effect so we could turn off the electronics in the park. We're just trying to have a fun day without getting in the way of the game, trying to remind people it's 1917 again. This is still a work day, as these writers can attest, even though sports writing today is a far cry from the flowery prose, which was the norm back in 1917. And let's not forget, of course, that there were no TV cameras back then, and certainly no women reporters. But to tell the story of today's game between the White Sox and the Brewers, we'll turn back the clock ourselves. And welcome to Comiskey Park, Chicago. The Brewers in town to meet the Pale Hose on Family Day in Comiskey, and Jack McDowell will be hurling that pill today for the Sox. But offense is today's story. First inning, one out. Steve Lyons of Chicago singles to right, and about Calron scores. It's two nothing Sucks. Still first, sacks full of Sucks. Scott Fletcher singles to left, one run scores, and here comes another, and it's four to nothing. Nice piece of hitting there, Scotty. Says the home crowd. But hey, these Brewers aren't here to monkey around, are they? And sorry about that. Third inning, two men on. Nice hit. Robin Young deep to left. Goodbye, Mr. Spaulding. All of a sudden, the Sox lead is cut down to one run at four to three, but manager Jeff Torborg makes a fan interfere. Neil disagrees. Get the ball game blue. Meanwhile, the pale host press on Ozzie Gamble with a gapper. Sammy Sosa scores. The throw comes in the second. The slide, and he's safe. And the Sox lead it seven to three. But here comes that broke through again. Get your hot dogs, red hots here. Eight inning, a run on every basic break. One bad hug to left field. Two runs in, it's nine six. Next batter, B.J. Sirhoff. Fine catcher, lines to left. Bad hop again. Two more coming. It's nine to eight. After nine, we're knotted at nine. Thirteenth inning. One out. Don Paul pitching for the Sox. Dale Hamilton strides to the plate for Milwaukee. Mike Felder on second. B.J. Sirhoff on first. Paul delivers for the Chicagoans, and so does Hamilton. Seeing a grounder through the right side. Sammy Sosa's throwing, but Mike Felder just beats the tag. 10-9 Brewers. They go on to win it 12-9 in 13 innings and a crowd of over 40,000. And Comiskey Park sees their socks go down 12-9, dropping their third in a row.